guys, welcome to today. I am here with Sam. We are headed to the pet store. You're probably wondering, why the heck are you going to the pet store, Laura? Don't you have enough pets? Well, I thought I did, but ever since I lost Macy, there's been this huge hole in my heart, you guys. I'm really struggling with the idea that I need another dog. Okay, so before we get to the pet store, and I finished my story about wanting another dog, I wanted to just let you guys know a couple of things. Um, some like housekeeping stuff. One, um, I've been hanging out on Snapchat with a lot of you guys. It has been so much fun. Um, some of you guys are saying that you would like us to um, shout out people more often and some of you guys are saying that you want us to react to your videos I don't really like reacting to videos because I only see the good in stuff never gonna point out a negative in somebody ever so so I don't really like reacting but I would love to share your guys's video I would love to highlight fans in our videos sometimes and I think it would be a really great thing to have a series where people send us their videos of them riding and we put them in our videos and share them with our followers because it's winter here we're not doing a lot of riding right now and I would love to um, put you guys in our videos if you want us to feature your riding video in our video in a in a video maybe I'll do it weekly um, go ahead and send your submission to daybydayintro at gmail.com. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here so you guys can see it. And we'll try that. We'll try a new feature in our videos. We'll try a new segment in our videos where at least maybe once a week we'll feature a subscriber. I would love that. I would love getting to know you guys and seeing your horses and knowing what you ride and what you do. Thank you to all the girls again on Snapchat that have been... Um, answering all the send it questions or sending me all the send it questions and sharing all this information with me things that you guys are interested in that you'd like to see on our channel it means a lot to me all right so I'm at the pet store and I have the friendly worker here I lost my dog recently she was old and she was little and I'm looking for a new pet could you recommend anything to me you can do a tagu, you can do a snake. You, you have tagus? Me too. Do you have something more furry? We love guinea pigs right now. Really? Hamsters, yeah. Oh look, there's a cat. I could do a cat. She's cute. Is she for sale? Store cat. Store cat. You're really cute and soft furry. and too furry. Look at all the fur on the Yeah, too shirt. furry. You're too furry. I don't want to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have a little knot there. <laughs> but you're really cute. It's just still not Macy. The problem is I keep trying to talk myself out of getting another pet because we're busy with our horses and I like the way it is now, but I just feel this loss in my heart. How about a budgie? I actually really like, I like budgies. Those the finches? Yeah, finches. Whoa. You know all those running around the barn? Fun fact, we had finches before a long, long, long time ago, and I've never really had good luck with birds. So birds are not it. Birds are not Macy. I could try a fish, but they're not fluffy. We already have bearded dragons. Yeah, you're not fluffy, that's for sure. That's pretty big. And you would take up way too much space. Ooh, turtle. The truth is I don't want to want another pet. The truth is, I don't want to want another dog. The truth is, my heart and my head are telling me two different things. But fun fact, the store clerk in the pet store, my niece. <laughs> we have a huge family and a lot of my, of my siblings and my nieces and my nephews all work with animals in some capacity. So that was my niece. She works at the pet store and I love coming to see her here. I didn't leave empty handed though. I did get a box of creepy crickets. I bet this place has some fluffy dogs. Uh, 12 to 4. Let's go. What our kids would think of you. Tumper, just like the uh, Yeah, the, the movie from, Fox uh, and the Hound. Hopper is cute. It's too big though. That one's cute. I love Jack Russell. Yeah. She's scared though. And it's a girl? Yeah. How old? One year. Oh, she's so cute. Hello. She's scared. What, are kids like you? Hello. 
You're cute. Pretty. Australian Shepherd Husky Mix. Oh, you'd be good at our farm. You'd be good at our farm, but I want a little dog. I want a little dog. Are you a girl? Yeah. Yep. You're Lexi. really cute, Lexi. There are hardly any dogs here. Well, hello, what happened to you? <laughs> I'm assuming you already got spayed. Are you a boy? Yep, Larry, this is Larry. You know how they have the doors to go outside? And so every dog can just go in and out those little doors over there, which is really cool. They can choose to come in or go out, which is maybe why we can't see all the dogs. Oh, there's none. Oh, there's none here. So basically in this whole huge shelter, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven dogs. See how they come in? <laughs> They can come in or out. Come on. Nice doggy doors. We need that for our house. We have dogs. We have three dogs. We have big dogs. If I was going to get another dog, I would have to fill my heart with littleness. I need a little dog. You're a cutie. You want to come home with Dada? You want to come home with Dada? <laughs> she's like, you're not my Dada, but I'll take you as my Dada. Uh, she's spoken for. Oh, she's spoken not for. Not forever home. Found her forever home. I'm actually shocked that there are hardly any dogs for adoption. Hardly any. I did spend a lot of hours looking online for a puppy, like a Chihuahua or a Yorkie puppy, because I've always wanted to have a Yorkie. I've had millions of Chihuahuas over the years. Never had a Yorkie. But I don't know that I want a puppy, you guys. I believe in adopting and rescuing and I also believe in getting a puppy. It just depends on where you are in, in your life. My girls were young when they got their puppies, but we're getting older. And if I get a dog for me, like a little tawny dog, then I think an older one would probably be okay. We had Macy for 14 years. We got her when she was 12 weeks old from a breeder. And it was a long time. And it felt like the perfect amount of time to me. And it also seemed like it went like a flash. I'm not against adopting. But I'm still conflicted inside. Sam, talk me out of it. Should I get a new puppy? Should I get a dog? No. Why? We have enough dogs. Yeah, we have enough dogs. It's just that when I go to bed at night and I have nothing to cuddle and mother and love in the house like I did with Macy, that I feel emptiness in my heart. I'll get you a stuffed dog and <laughs> cuddle with you. All right, make sure it's little though. Okay. I got an appointment for you at a uh, Concussion clinic. Let's have good news. Tomorrow. It's <laughs> and it's a man. I tried to get you a girl, but the concussion specialist was, is a man. It's no secret that Sophie doesn't love going to the doctor. But um, somebody on Snapchat, again, I keep on saying that, like, I've been loving this Snapchat thing. It's like a way for all these people to so they give you the ideas and they Yeah, them. like, so on Snapchat, a girl I'm said that there's Snapchat a concussion today. clinic in Toronto. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. So we're going to Toronto? No, we're not going to Toronto. I forgot oh. to make an appointment with the chiropractor for Sophie, and I want to do that because she's still struggling, and I, she's young, and I need to get this taken care of because this can impact her health forever. And so I called them, and they have like a concussion clinic, and I have to. I'm sitting at the computer because she wants me to do a whole concussion thing online for Sophie. Oh gosh. Post injury concussion registration. So anyways, I have to do that and then we're gonna go tomorrow and we're gonna get Sophie figured out. I'm so super excited to be able to do this. And so when I was talking to her though, the lady, she asked me like, you know, about the hospital visit and how did it go? And I told her that and um, how like serious her fall was and how her face completely swelled up and, and she was like all a mess right instantly as soon as she fell. And that all they did was like monitor for a few hours and then gave us a piece of paper that said, don't do any of these things for six days, like a six day concussion protocol, which we did all of those things. They never like talked about, never gave us any more information than that. It was like the bare bones of care, really. Her blood pressure was through the roof after her fall. So we had to stay and wait for her to calm down. And that was... That was, that was the extent of the whole thing. Yeah, we stayed there till 1 a.m. from like 7 till 1. And that's all they did. And she was like, said, you know, it's awful. Like, concussion is such a serious thing, especially in children. Like, I don't understand why they don't do follow-up and they don't do more for it. Like, 
anyways, just wanted to tell you guys that Sophie is finally getting fixed. And thank you to the girl on Snapchat who said, why haven't you taken Sophie to a concussion clinic? We are, because of you. Bad job. <laughs> Sophie doesn't want to go. Nobody wants to go to the doctor. It's true, but sometimes you have to. Don't you know that you're beautiful?